Hey everybody, it's Kevra. It's me, I'm Kevra. Listen up, this will only take a second, or at least it should. I can be very long-winded. Mario Party Superstars just got an update. Does this mean DLC is absolutely coming? No. Did the update add anything really cool, like new costumes or items to buy in the shop? No. Did they announce that this is one of several updates that are coming to Mario Party Superstars? Yeah, <laughs> no. No. Did they make some actual good changes? Yes, they did. Is this a good sign that there's more to come? Potentially. Not guaranteed, but this has potential. As you can see, they did a couple of online updates and a couple of minigame updates. The first one, which is kind of a big one, is fixing that glitch where if you looked at minigame records in the data house, it would just do downloading forever and ever and basically just never stop. The second update, which I really like, is the fact that whenever you go back to the village square after your friends join you for an online game, if you push B, it doesn't end the session. Instead, a message pops up. And then here's the one that I think is the really, really big one. It fixed the issue in which the mini game does not end when playing Ice Rink Risk, Dizzy Dancing, Catch You Letter, or Cheap Cheap Chase. I never experienced this issue personally, but I saw people posting it, and I would have been so mad if this ever happened to me, like towards the end of a game where it just, it, it never ends because the, the, the characters won't go back to the places they're supposed to go back to. Then it mentions something about the game slowing down and then randomly ending for a stick and spin. I never experienced that issue, but I guess other people have. And then we just have a generic fixed other issues to improve the overall gameplay experience. What those issues were, I'm not sure, but I'm sure people will slowly discover them here and there. And I'm actually really hoping this gets data mined to see if there actually is anything else here besides what we just see so far. Even if there's not though, this update gave me a slight bit of hope. Again, this does not mean we are getting DLC. This does not mean they are adding costumes. This does not mean we're getting more characters. It doesn't mean anything other than they fixed a few things. In fact, and I had to look this up, Super Mario Party had an update on the exact same day. Today is March 22nd. On March 22nd of 2019, Super Mario Party got their update. Personally, I find that very strange and that it's not just a coincidence and I'm sure someone smarter than me can tell me exactly why that is. Now, the really big difference between the two updates is the fact that Mario Party Superstars kind of had a lot of updates along with this patch. But the one for Super Mario Party just fixed an issue with online Mario-thon where the ranking data was not displaying properly. So this has me asking a lot of questions. Day one for Mario Party Superstars, we had to have an update. Six months later, we had a pretty substantial update. Does that mean Mario Party Superstars was rushed? Does that mean that's why we didn't get a second board from Mario Party 3? Was figuring out online really difficult for ND Cube? And they ended up spending a lot of development time specifically on that. And if they did have a second board plan for Mario Party 3 that they were gonna add to Superstars, are they eventually going to release it? Now that they finally figured out how to do online, does that mean the next thing that they're gonna figure out is DLC? Or will this simply be our final update? Personally, I see this update as a good sign. It's not a big sign, it's not a great sign, in fact, it's just a very small, tiny little sign. But at the very least, it is a sign that Indie Cube is learning and growing. That's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. And let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a good sign. My next video is gonna be about Mario Party Superstars DLC basically being a party pass. I talked about it in one of my videos a couple months ago, but I didn't really believe that was the route that they would go. Now I'm convinced that that would be the route that they actually would go. So I'm going to talk about it in much greater detail. So subscribe if you want to make sure you see that video. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.